This is probably how Ariana Grande cooks. Can I curse? Am I allowed to curse? Yeah, I don't want to f This is Rich Brian, and today I'm with Tasty to cook my favorite type of eggs, and um, it will be called the omelet. I have pancetta, which is like fancy bacon, cheese, that looks like provolone, I think, pink Himalayan salt, some butter, some chives, some shaved truffles, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna use. I just asked them for it because I wanted to eat it, to be honest with you, and eggs. Let's get started. I am just whisking the eggs. I really wish I could crack eggs with one hand. A lot of people do that, and I can't. Let me try. Oh my god! I, I mean, I kind of did it. I'm gonna do three eggs today. I haven't had a proper breakfast, and I kind of, I get to eat this, right? Do I get to eat it? Okay, cool, whisking the eggs. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in it. I don't wanna like put a crazy amount just cause I feel like the pancetta is gonna be pretty salty. Pink Himalayan salt is better for you. Somebody told me that and I, that's what I choose to believe. I don't wanna like look into it more. Placebo is a real thing and like, you know, if I truly believe that it's good for me, then it will be good for me. That's all that matters. Turn on the stove. I'll do like a nice medium high. What I'm gonna do is put a little bit of butter in it. I'm gonna try to cut this up a little bit. Make little pancetta dice. And then I will put it in the pan. I'm gonna turn this down some more. Cooking is like my favorite thing to do to relax. I love when I just have a bunch of ingredients and I don't know what to do with it and I just kind of like try to come up with a dish on the spot. It's nice because you kind of impress yourself a little bit. I love just like asking my parents for recipes, you know, like dishes that I would eat when I was growing up and then I'm like, oh, I missed this, so I can't find it anywhere in LA. I make them, and it's kind of, it's kind of spot on, surprisingly. What I'm going to do right now is put the pancetta in, let it render a little bit. There's not that much heat right now, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna put the top on. Create a convection heat, so the heat kind of goes just like around, and then it gets trapped, and then it's kind of like I'm basically steaming my pancetta right now. I think that's scientifically proven. Yeah. Turn it down now and then put the lid on. The pancetta, like I want it to be all small and cute. There's multiple kinds of cheese here. I'm curious about it, so I'm gonna try it a little bit. I assume this is provolone, because it's circular. Not tasting much, to be honest with you. It kind of tastes like one of those like, like wonton skins but like a little bit sour. And this is kind of a, um, I have no idea what this is. It could either be cheddar or American cheese. Definitely a lot more flavor in it. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between cheddar and American. And this, it looks like a piece of gum. It's like a cheese flavored gum. Mmm, I like that one the best. Wow, that one kind of tastes like orange. I really like that. The pancetta looks pretty good to me right now. I'm going to pour the egg in, and I'm gonna try my best not to have too much coloration on the eggs. When I'm at home, I just kind of do whatever I want. But I learned how to make an omelet from a French chef, and he, he taught me to like do everything with low heat. I kind of forgot most of it, to be honest with you, but I'm gonna like try to <laughs> just kind of do what I remember. You know what? I'm gonna put it off the heat because you can do that sometimes. You don't have to have it on the heat all the time. Omelets are my favorite type of eggs because you can put so many things in it. The thing that we do in Indonesia, you put like sweet soy sauce in the omelet mix and it has this kind of like sweet, kind of like caramelized flavor. And then you put like pieces of like chili in the in the eggs and it's just, it's beautiful. What I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm basically doing like a manually shredded cheese. That's totally fine. I, I forgot and I'm gonna own up to my mistakes. I'm gonna put the cheese on like one side of it. I am going to kind of roll the egg a little bit and kind of like flip it to one side and I really hope I don't mess this up. He did it kind of slowly, so he did this. Have you had any other? Um, this style of cooking omelet, once. That's, that's where this is fun. I was gonna close it a little, little bit and let the cheese melt, but I, you know what, I might do that actually. This might take a while. But at the same time, when we were cooking it, we were, we were cooking it in very low heat, but we were using a different type of cheese. It was more like a, a, a cream cheese kind of situation. So I, I might just, I might just go rogue. I'm turning the heat up. 
all the way. The plans have changed. I'm gonna make this my own type of omelet. I'm gonna put the cheese in the middle now. I'll put the lid on. When it's kind of like almost done, I like to like flip it so it's like, it's like halfway. And then I like to sear both sides until it's nice and medium rare. <laughs> The cheese is starting to melt a little bit. I can see that through the glass. Oh, this smells beautiful. Boom. It has beautiful color coloration here. I'm gonna put the butter in there. I'm gonna try to get it under the egg. Let me see what the other side looks like. Okay, there, there's, there's a good amount of color, but it can have some more. I'm gonna open the truffles, actually. Just... Okay, actually turn this off. Get the garnishes ready. Cut the chives up. It adds a huge kind of like texture to the omelet. It's like an extra star at the restaurant. So this is the omelet, with the chives on top. You see how that looks though? That looks so cool. It doesn't feel like an amateur is making it. It fills the empty space and adds kind of like texture and accent. I went to Full Sail so I know about graphic design. I wanna know if this needs truffle. So I'm gonna try it by itself first. It's pretty mild. I feel like I will incorporate some truffle on it. Put it on the omelet in a way that's like, that's pretty. There. Wow, right when the <laughs> stove just turns off, that's a sign that we should stop. So here you go. This is the omelet. I'm really excited to try it, but before I try it, we're gonna bring Inca in. Come here. <laughs> Make sure you have some chives on that. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. I like it. <laughs> it sound anything. It's making me really nervous. It's really good. Thank you. It's a little saltier than I expected, it, but... It is? Mm. It is. <laughs> but it's good. I think the salt is just kind of dominating the t the flavor of the actual egg. It, it's still good. Yeah. It's still good. You've come a long way from microwaving bread. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. I'm going to eat the rest of this now because I haven't had breakfast. So I really hope, you know, you learn how to do this too at home because it's pretty simple. And um, if you do make it, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Brian Emanuel. Be sure to check out my music. I just put out an album called The Sailor. Really proud of the album. I think you should listen to it. It's a great album. This has been The Omelette, and um, I'm Rich Brian, and thank you for watching.